Welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to talk to you about autumn winter collections that are out here in Australia at the moment. A few of them that I've seen have actually, in my opinion, been probably the best collections I've seen in a long time. And just be, I just thought that it would be a good idea to have a chat about these brands, what they've done with their collections and why I think they're good. I'll also add, I guess, my top five pieces from each collection. With this, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form, had a look at what's out there at the moment and was kind of blown away by what I've been seeing. Especially considering that I haven't really been inspired by fashion the last three months, I've really just not seen anything that I love enough to pay any money for, which is I guess great for my bank account, but just this last month a few things have really happened in April and yeah, I wanted to talk to you about it, so I thought I'd share my thoughts. Alright, so the first brand that I'm going to talk to you today about is Witchery. Anyone that has followed my channel for any amount of time will know that I am heavily inspired by Isabel Moran in my style. I love her clothing. And it also seems to have happened that Witchery have been very inspired by Isabel Moran's clothing as well and her range. There's a lot of things that they've just released that is incredibly inspired by her. And I thought that if, if you like that aesthetic, you can get it for a fraction of the price through Witchery. They even have a dupe of my Rebel dress, which I think is great. It's not the same colour palette, but it is so similar to the Rebel dress that I was actually quite blown away. If you have seen my videos and really like that dress, but weren't willing to pay the price, Witchery have an incredible dupe of that dress. Also, if you might remember, when I bought my Rebel dress originally, I bought the black one, which actually ended up being navy. Now, Witchery have done dresses and tops, and I think a skirt. Yeah, I believe it's a couple of tops and a dress in that. It's practically the same pattern as the Isabel Marat one. The only difference is, is the Witchery one is black. Also, what they've done as well is the paper bag waist leather short which quite frankly, I love. They are a really reasonable price. They're like $400, like $395, which is in my opinion for a pair of leather shorts on the market, quite reasonable. I haven't actually seen them in person. I did try to go into the Witchery store at Pitt Street just to have a really good look at, at, at the collection, but I couldn't find any of the leather shorts in there, unfortunately. So really impressed by the collection. Also, I think is it Witchery that have done the boots? Yeah, Witchery have done a really good slouch boot in this collection as well, and they've done it in a few colourways. Yeah, they've done the boot, this slouch boot. I thought it was three, yeah, in three colourways. They've done it in a, in like a soft blue, a powder blue colour, black and camel, which is, or tan, sorry. Tan, which is, I'd even say that their stuff is also very Chloe-esque as well, like they've got the Prairie College shirts, they've got the Isabel Morant style kind of vintage Victorian tops with the, the loosened sleeves, similar to what I'm wearing here. As I mentioned before, they've really gone, they've done well with the leather. They're heavily inspired by Isabel Morant's leather pants that I really loved but couldn't justify spending the money on. And I'll pop all, everything that I'm talking about up next to me here. They've really done well with the contrasting of patterns, feminine and tough, mixing in a 70s vibe into it and kept the colour palette a really good colour palette where the strongest one, like the strongest colours that they use are tan, white, beige, black and then the accent colours aren't overly dominant in the collections because what I've found and the reason why I will get to actually I'll just chuck it in here now like Country Road I have not included in this video just because I found that they have a lot of activewear I don't know if their collection hasn't dropped yet for autumn winter that the heavily activewear also gone hard with the accent green and slate colors and there's not in my opinion, really good neutrals that will last the distance. But in witcheries, I do believe that they there are some really good items here 
that will last the distance. The thing I love about these mid-tier high street brands is that they when you buy if you're after buying something that's leather you're going to get it at a better price than if you were to buy it from a designer which is a pretty obvious statement but you can actually buy things at a good price at these stores that's why I really like them okay so my top five picks for witchery first thing I like would have to be I guess the Isabel Morant dress that the copy of that so it's the print trim dress it is very similar to the rebel dress that i have i absolutely love it it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that's the type of dress that you can wear probably in australia quite comfortably nine months a year you could wear it right through spring maybe a little bit into summer autumn winter that dress it's the type of dress that will go the distance we love that number two will be the leather shorts I think price-wise for a pair of leather shorts, $3.99 I believe that they are. Insane price I, and they're a really good cut and I love the style of them. They're a very close pair to the Zara ones that I bought in a Zara sale which aren't actually real leather. So I definitely would say that they're number two and I am considering buying them because for that price I just think yeah why not it's such a good price okay number three the button knit dress the black button knit dress that whole outfit that the model is wearing is insane it is stunning i love the knee high boot or over the knee boot under a midi dress it's such a chic 1970s look especially with that thick belt that is a gorgeous dress that is one even though it's not my top one or two that is one if it actually is a mini dress on me, I will consider buying because that is absolutely stunning. Won't last you throughout the year because it's a knit, but that will be perfect in the middle of winter because it is a knit dress. I'd say the lace bib front blouse, so it's a very similar blouse to the one that I'm wearing today, but it's that beautiful rich tan colour. I absolutely love that. That is a stunning top. Uh, that would be one that I would consider buying because I like these blouses and I'm starting to wear more blouses to work and on the weekends to more formal occasions now that we can go on them. That is an absolute winner of a blouse. So that's number four and one that I will be probably buying as well to go with the leather shorts and the dress. Oh my gosh. So that's three things. Maybe I am inspired again. <laughs> okay, so this is my fifth one. I would say the Maya, Maya coated jean. It's a leather look skinny jean, uh, just coated denim. I really like that. They look like they're seventh, eighth, which is great for someone that's five foot one because then that means that they're full length, but that's the type of jean I would actually get taken up. I am considering investing in a pair of leather leggings. I wanted them for years, but I just keep putting them off. I'm going to try Country Roads country roads pair this year and see if they can work for me if they don't work then the Maya coated jeans would be great because it's like a fifth of the price or a fourth of the price so that so yeah they're my picks from witchery actually i might chuck in one more so i did six of witchery uh they're slouch boots they're those gorgeous slouch boots that come in three different colors absolutely just perfection a bit too high for me to wear so I wouldn't be buying them personally but the slouchiness of them I've been waiting waiting for I'd say probably about two three years for them for some high street brand to bring back a good pair of leather or suede slouchy boots inspired by Isabel Moran and Witchery have delivered the goods unfortunately they're too high for me though but it means that they could be coming through in a more affordable price soon so Fingers crossed that we can get a pair that is suitable. Okay, so that's Witchery. The next brand, and this is the one that I'm actually the most excited about, and anyone that knows me personally will laugh, just because they will know why now. And this is actually the collection that blew me away the most, and I'll explain why in a second. Seed Heritage. They, this collection is phenomenal. This April collection is un believable if i had limitless money <laughs> i would be buying pretty much all of it what i've seen with brands like seed and witchery is that what they'll do is they'll have like kind of like a hero color every month they'll have like basics and neutrals mixed in sometimes it could be like lime green sometimes it can be pink sometimes it can be lavender sometimes it could be whatever 
what I've noticed with seed in the past maybe three or four months is that they are focusing more on what seems to be neutral, a neutral palette with more of a thought process around classics rather than going for trend driven pieces. This collection is their best collection they've ever done. Like, it's flawless. It is absolutely flawless. They have done incredible leather pieces that are just so wearable and so classic. The color palette is unbelievable. Like the richness of the tan leather items is just beautiful. So the reason why this is my favorite collection is because I love the colors. I think that, like I said before, they've just gone and they've absolutely nailed nailed the classic pieces and it's so affordable for what they are like they're just so affordable like there's not one piece here that I can fault that is just how good I think the collection is from their coats right down to their knitwear and their leather pieces and their more casual line they have just nailed it like you could build a capsule or buy your basics from this April collection and have them for years and they won't date. Like, it's that flawless. So I'll talk about the, okay, so the leather pieces are incredible. The knitwear is gorgeous. And this is something else that C do really well, is that they are really good at mixing in different fabrics for different, like, within each collection. So they'll stick to the one colour palette or, or, They'll stick to a couple of colours within that range, but they'll have different materials with different textures so that wearing an all tan outfit doesn't look boring because it has texture. That's something that they're really good at doing. Or they'll have like a pattern that ties in all the colours in the collection. So the collection I'm looking at right now, we've got black, we've got like it's almost a bone colour. Let's have a look at what colour they're calling it. Oat. It's, it's like a bone colour, like an eggshell colour. So we've got tan, we've got black, we've got like eggshell, we've got this beautiful rich tan, we've got a beautiful paisley pattern that basically incorporates all those colours and we've got beige in there as well. So they've made it very tonal. My five favourite pieces. Okay, first up, hands down. This is literally what I am buying this week is the paisley mini dress. That dress is stunning. That pattern is incredible. I It's just so elevated and chic. And I've actually felt the material, it's a linen blend. So it's going to be breathable throughout the year. I might have to get it taken up because it did look like it was a little bit long for somebody my height. But you just belt that dress and it is stunning. And it's the type of dress that you could wear to the office with heels, boots. You could wear it in, some, in, in like the cooler, you know, summer times and autumn that you know cool spring cool summer days you could wear that with a nice pair of sandals you could wear that on the weekend with a pair of trainers it is just so versatile and just the paisley print is so rich and oh that dress is incredible okay the next okay so that's definitely my number one number two i am going to say the belted leather dress. When I saw that, I almost fell off my seat. For $450, $449.95, the style is perfection. It's got nice blousy, like not overly blousy sleeves, but nice sleeves. It's a really good length. It's that beautiful tan color that they've got in their collection. It's a V neck and it has a belt. It, it's just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. So that is definitely my number two. Like I can't fault that leather dress. That is definitely going to be something that I'll be purchasing. Number three, their coat, their wool boyfriend coat. Incredible. And they've done that in, I think four different colors. That coat is so classic. Whichever color you buy, you're not going to go wrong. It is just the most classic coat in the most classic colors. So we've got a beige color called champagne beige. We've got burnt bronze, which must be that tan color. Uh, light ash marl, which is gray and black. So they haven't kind of gone that kind of crazy, like bright color. They've kept it completely neutral and it is working. And if you were to buy any one of those coats, 
in any one of those colors you're going to be you will have that for years and i have a number of their coats their wool coats are so warm and they, they wear really well i have one of their it's a reversible black and uh, khaki one it's a really good coat it's so versatile it is so warm in the middle of winter so i definitely would recommend if you are on the market for a coat this year or even if you're not and you're considering it this coat so classic and you'll have it for years so number that's my number three i might even say number four is the black suit trouser i love a good cigarette pan i just think that that is just a classic pant to have in any wardrobe very versatile really good you could wear that you know out out for dinner dress it up with a nice blouse or you could just wear that to work i think that's an absolute essential in any woman's wardrobe and i might have a look at the shoes real quick oh they've even done ballet flats 100% leather ballet flats. This is what I mean. They have literally nailed the classic wardrobe. You can't fault it. They've also done what looks to be a slouch boot too. The ballet flat. I think you can't go wrong with that. And I think $130 for a ballet, a classic wardrobe staple, really good. And they come in beautiful colors. You've got like a chocolate brown, a gold, black, and a nude. Okay, the next brand that we're going to talk about that I think has absolutely nailed it. This year for autumn winter 2021 is Oriton. Now, I don't know if a lot of people would actually know that Oriton is now doing clothes. They have been now for probably about a year and a half, could be a bit less than that. So they've done a few collections. What I found is that they don't do a lot in their collections, but their stuff is very elevated and very beautiful and very, very similar to what is out there at the moment. I guess the, I've just said it before, it's just elevated. It's just the quality is really beautiful. The designs are just a little bit different. They're very similar, but just that slightly little bit more thought out. And quite frankly, I just think that their collections are just absolutely stunning. So I'll quickly run through them. They do like a lot of knits, silks, leather, very similar in aesthetic to, I would say, in between Seed and Kimono Very, very similar color palettes and styles as well they do have patterns kind of similar to witchery there's a couple of check patterns in there as well so yeah i absolutely love love the collection first up that tan leather skirt is insane it is so beautiful and you'll see when i put the image uh just up here what what i'm talking about when i when I'm saying just that elevated detail, that asymmetric line with the buttons going down the skirt and the asymmetric pocket, angled pocket, just unbelievable. It's such a good skirt. And it's, it's still a very classic cut, but with that little slight difference that makes it look like it's from a designer. These are the types of things, things if you're going to if you're going to spend $750 on a leather skirt, you want it to be different. You don't want it too far out, but you want it to be a little bit different. If money was no object, I would have absolutely no, no problem buying that skirt. It is just stunning. Number two, the knit dress. I think that comes in tan and black. Now that knit dress is gorgeous. It's got the balloon sleeves, it's A-line, it just looks like a really beautiful knit dress. It is a little bit pricey though, for $4.49, but you're paying for that detail. The cutouts just here are really gorgeous too. It's Once again, it's like a knit dress that's elevated. Number three, I'm going to go the button detail cardi. I think that is gorgeous. Once again, like it's a cardigan that reminds me of 1998 1999 when i was like still in high school but really interested in fashion that is gorgeous i love the fact that it is that the lines are all, all over it kind of going in different directions it looks a little bit kind of undone but very cool at the same time that's the detail that i'm talking about the origin delivers is that that elevated detail and that's where me personally when i'm shopping for something that's a little bit more pricey that's what i'm after just something that's that's beautiful but looks different. So that one's number three. Number four, I'm going to go that rib knit asymmetric tank. I think that's just gorgeous. If yeah, that's that's something you can wear probably nine months of the year. 
It's just so chic and gorgeous. One shoulder tops and dresses, there's something about them that is just so elevated. I love that. And and the 90s angle down the bottom and the hem of it is just beautiful. So that's number four, absolutely. I'm gonna go with the short sleeve boxy top. I love a good boxy top and I love a good angled sleeve, short angled sleeve as well. So I really like that too. So yeah, that's what I picked from Oriton. Really good collection, Oriton, like absolutely knocked it out of the park. Now, the fourth company I'm going to talk about today is, I've mentioned them before, Camilla and Mark. We all know that I love Camilla and Mark as well. If I'm feeling like I'm in a modern aesthetic mood, Camilla and Mark comes out. And I will talk to you why I think that they are nailing it. Now, you will. It's actually very interesting, a lot of the brands that I've talked about today, so I'd say Seed Heritage, Oriton and Camilla and Mark all kind of have a very similar aesthetic at the moment. Camilla and Mark, tan leather skirts. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love their collections. Once again, Camilla and Mark, similar to Seed, have gone heavy with the leather and the mixing up the fabrics. So they have gone with suiting fabrics such as checks. They've also started to incorporate knitwear, some silk and satin pieces, as well as leather. So they've nailed the, the mixing of textures, which is really good. And also the neutral color palette. So they've got like a cream, they've got a nice tan. It's a bit softer this tan, but it's still quite rich. And also there as well, they've, they've gone with olive, like a really rich dark olive, which is beautiful, as well as like a bone colored check in their latest drop. So yeah, they just really do modern classics really, really well. Just really, really well. Really heavy on the, on the loungewear as well at the moment. Look, their loungewear is gorgeous, but I'm, yeah, I'm not spending $200 on a track pan. Because uh, I go to an office now. So, they've got actually a real Yeezy vibe in some of this as well. Like that leather hoodie. I'll pop that leather hoodie here. It's kind of very Yeezy. Number one, I'm going to pick the Valerie V-neck dress. It's a tan, balloon sleeved midi dress with a bit of military detail with the pockets at the front and a nice uh, tie waist that's gorgeous that's gorgeous if i was to buy that i'd have to get it taken up but the, t the richness in the tan is just stunning number two we'll go that leather skirt i think that leather skirt just beautiful the leather's just a little bit softer in color but still has that richness to it the design of it is really beautiful too it has some nice stitch detailing that i really like as well so yeah the leather skirt's number two number three the Otava pants. It's kind of like a slightly boot cut pant and just gorgeous. It's just a black classic dress pant. Really, really classic pant. So every, I think every woman should have a pair of pants like that in their wardrobe. So that's number three. Number four. Might go with their new t-shirt actually. Their new, is it the Huntington tee? No, that's Huntington 2.0. The one that I'm talking about is the Cadiz logo tank. Definitely. I think a good Camilla and Mark logo tank is quite chic and quite elevated. So definitely that. Oh wow, the Thames Coats number five. I should have picked, clicked on this before. Wow, amazing. Oh, their coats this year are insane. Like insane. If you're in the market to spend 1k plus on a beautiful coat, Oh, they're just so classic, but so modern at the same time. And the colorways are just incredible. There's some seriously beautiful things coming from Camilla and Mark. The coats, though, the coats are just phenomenal. There's also this other coat there that's really good, too. The Medine trench coat is really beautiful, too. It's like a dark brown color. Just gorgeous. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you like this video. Finally, I've been inspired by what's out there which is really exciting and I foresee my bank account being drained over the next few weeks which is scary. Let me know in the comments below, tell me which collection you like best. I think that they are all really good. Best, I'm still gunning for the Seed Heritage one, I think that is 
lawless and really, really good price points for the items that you're buying. I will see you again next time. Bye.